Have you ever lied? I know I have. Have you ever been lied to? I think we all have. And you know what? I don't like it one bit. But you know who I lie to the most in this world? And that's myself. Hi, I'm Gina. Here at Hope & Cope, we talk about essential skills we need in order to have our best life in spite of painful and sometimes even tragic events and situations. Today, we're going to talk about our pride will lie to us. When I am not in harmony with God, when I am not listening to my good conscience, I will lie to myself. When you live with someone with an addiction or some other situation, conflict is bound to arise. And when it does, and that pride can rise up, we can say some really, really unkind things. We'll justify ourselves, we'll lie to ourselves and say, it's okay to say because it's true. Well, I don't know if it's really okay to say. I don't know if it was the right thing to say. I don't know if it's helpful to that person but we will justify and then we'll be at odds with that person and we'll say, well, I don't have to forgive. I don't have to apologize. I will never have that person. I don't need that person in my life anymore. That pride will rise up and it will lie to you. It will tell you that person doesn't matter. It will tell you that whole group of people, that maybe that whole side of the family, that they don't matter, that you don't need them. That is just selfish pride. When we get angry, we let our pride rise up and we listen to the lies about our families or about what, what is good for us. And most of the time, reconciliation is the best plan. Harmony inside our families is the best plan. It doesn't mean that we have to agree that bad behavior is okay. And it doesn't mean that we have to and say we were wrong if we don't feel like we were wrong. It just means so many times, if we'll get pride out of the way, we can try to find a way to have harmony, a way to have reconciliation. We can find a way to say, I should not have behaved that way. I'm gonna take responsibility for my own behavior, despite what your behavior was or, or the position that you took. My pride will lie to me and it will tell me that my position is justified, but yours isn't. Maybe it's because you're the, you're the addict, you're the person causing the harm, so then all the blame falls on you and none of the blame falls on me and I don't look to myself for any responsibility. I only want to blame you or that, I'm using you generically, that other person. I'm putting all the blame there and I'm not taking any responsibility for my actions because I say my small infractions, my small mistakes, they're nothing compared to yours. So they are inconsequential and they don't matter. And I don't have to apologize and I don't have to be responsible for my behavior. Another lie that my pride will tell me is that if I have secret indulgences, that they're justified because of someone else's behavior. Because so-and-so did such and such, or because so-and-so always does such and such, then I'm justified to do the things they're not. Maybe they don't line up with my conscience. Maybe they don't line up with a moral code. Maybe they don't line up with uh, the Bible, but I'm gonna indulge and I feel justified. I'm lying to myself because of something someone else does. I know I'm saying that our pride will lie to us, but sometimes we have friends and family that will uphold us in our deception. They will justify, they will say, yes, because he does this, you have the right to do that. It may not be the right thing to do. It may be harmful in the long run. It may affect your integrity or your character, or it may affect your children or your family or your job but people will justify that with you because someone else's infraction, someone else's sin, someone else's problems are so much worse than ours that they will help us to justify inappropriate behavior or, or decisions, even though what we're doing is not right and it's not helpful, they will still, because they don't have to pay the consequences. Mostly it's just us that will pay the consequences for our actions. So we don't want to listen to our pride and we don't want to listen to bad influences. We want to listen to our good conscience. We want to take 
take direction from God's word, from godly counselors, from people that are going to suggest, not tell you how to live, but suggest a positive path, suggest a high road to be on and to not indulge that pride. You know, when my pride runs rampant, I can see all of your faults, but I don't see mine. I'm always looking at your life and the decisions you make and the words that come out of your mouth with a, a critical eye, everything. But I don't do that to myself because, well, poor me, woe is me. I have this terrible situation. Of course, I'm not going to be my best. Of course, I'm going to make poor choices. Of course, I'm going to act out of anger or I'm going to act out of vengeance who would blame me and so we have a double standard for ourselves and everybody else because our pride is justifying everything we do this may be a way of looking at pride that you have not thought of before but in my mind I, I think I said this in the other video that our own pride doesn't have our best interest at heart it has pride's interest at heart and our pride will hurt anyone in the process of defending itself and that is even us it will hurt us it will hurt our family it will take out anyone that it can you know the enemy of our souls will use our pride against us he has a very small playbook, kill, steal, and destroy. And I tell you what, he'll do anything he can to wound you and those around you, those that love you, those that love you the most that would stand by you. He will do anything he can to take you all out. So I want to suggest you please try to get pride out of your psyche. Please try not to think of things through that lens of pride, try to take on a cloak of humility and think about things through love and grace and forgiveness and mercy and try to restrain the things that you say and think, I would rather think about what I say and say it clearly and helpfully and honestly and lovingly at a right time and not, not right now while I'm angry, not right now while I'm tired, not right now while I'm in the heat of this conversation, I will wait. I will restrain myself and wait and do it at a time where it will be productive. I'm not saying to let people walk all over you. I am saying there's a right time to address things. There's a right time to, and a right way to say what needs to be said and to put up our boundaries and put them up lovingly and care and carefully and without letting it be this big, huge, burst of pride that just comes in and tries to wreak havoc in our lives and the lives of those that we love. I know pride is a hard topic and I know it's been received in this modern world as something very, very positive, but in biblical terms, moral terms, it is a real danger in our lives. So I hope that this topic has been helpful. I hope you'll look at it and think about it with through a different lens and I hope that you'll check out my description box I always put a little something extra for you in there uh, if this was helpful if you'd hit the thumbs up button I'd appreciate it I know it's kind of touchy sharing topics like this but if you think that this, this would be received by someone that you know if you would share it with a friend and I put out content new content on Sundays so always be looking for that I love you I'm praying for you and until next time God bless.